Say, have you ever wondered what the world looks like from a worm's eye point of view? Well, it might seem a little dark and messy down here, but there's really a lot happening on the forest floor in the soil. So stick around. Hmm, kind of gushy. And, and we'll get down and dirty with this episode of Believe It or Not. Did you ever stop to think how lucky we are in the Lake States to have such a wide variety of forest communities? You know, Georgia, you're right. The diversity in the Lake States forest is amazing. And what's even more amazing is that all of this diversity is thanks to one thing we don't really even think about very much. And that would be... Dirt! Dirt! Oh! James, cut that out! Dirt! Dirt! What's the matter with you? Dirt is what you carry into the kitchen when your mom yells at you and says what were you born in a barn that's what dirt is now soil soil that's is really cool. cool dirt is just the non-living or what we call abiotic collection of little particles that are less than two millimeters in size it's a word we use to scrape all that stuff off of us at the end of the day too isn't it that's true we call it dirty not soily Ooh. Now it's true that some people call dirt soil, but soil is really part of a living ecosystem. It includes non-living and living material. The non-living part is sand, silt, and clay. The living part includes critters like nematodes, amoebas, bacteria, and itty bitty insects, and even fungi and decomposing plant material, as well as water and air. It's actually really busy in there. Okay, so soil it is, but let's get back to how that stuff leads to different kinds of forests. Well, th that's a long story and a big story, Georgia. And, and we know that all trees need things like air and water and mm -hmm. nutrients from the soil. Yep, that's true. So what kind of nutrients are we talking about? Oh, it's funny you should ask. I just happened to brought with me some of Michigan's finest soil. What's in there? Nutrients. Okay. Ah, potassium, nitrogen, mm, sulfur, a little bit of sulfur. Mm, yes, and wait, there it is. Ah, manganese. Mm, love manganese in the morning. Bill, can you really smell all those things in there? Maybe. <laughs> That's right, Bill. Nutrients are important in forest soil, but just as important are the particles that make up soil. Soil is made up of a combination of three different size particles. Sand, the biggest, then silt particles, then finally clay particles. Scientists use a special diagram called a soil triangle to represent different combinations. Different combinations of sand, silt, and clay hold different amounts of water and nutrients for trees and other plants. Now, some forest communities do better on these drier, sandier soils like jack pines, red pines, and this beautiful red pine plantation. Other forest communities, like northern hardwoods, like a more Goldilocks combination of sand, silt, and clay. This is a perfect example of that kind of forest with lots of beech, maple, and basswoods. Hey Bill, what are you up to there? Well, I, I'm, I'm looking for soil. I think you found some. I think I found some, but you know, there's something a little peculiar going on here. It's a whole bunch of different colors in there. Sure enough. Well, we talked about biotic That's living. That's the living, yeah. yeah. That stays in the first couple of inches, right? Yeah, it, 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 it took over 10,000 years for the forest to build up that much of that nutrient layer. And wow. most of the nutrients, or some of the nutrients, have leached out, which means they leave the soil and the water carries them down further. And this area in here is kind of lighter colored. That's where the nutrients have gone out and they've settled in here 
where the root layer is, because the roots are after the, the nutrients, of course. And then further down, we get into some of this really old stuff from right after the glacier melted and the water's left it sitting here. And there's some sand that hasn't changed for thousands of years. And there's even some deeper down, some stones that are in this soil profile. How about that? That's cool. Yeah. Even on really dry sandy dunes, you can see that organic layer on top with all kinds of roots holding it all together. If you remove that layer, it may again get blown around by the wind and it's really hard to get that protective layer back. So if it takes so long to create these soils, it makes sense that we take extra precautions to keep the soils in place. That's in the woods. So loggers and foresters have a whole set of guidelines to help us do just that, especially in sensitive places like riparian forests, which are forests along the water. So I think we've gotten to the bottom of this soil business. You know, I think we have too. We could dig a lot further into the topic, but you know, I think it's time to get cleaned up for the day. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Just remember that different kinds of soils mean different kinds of forest communities. So join us again for the next episode or past episodes of Belief It, it or, or Not. not. And oh, hit that oh, bell that to bell. subscribe. That subscriber somewhere. thing. Yeah, do that. Wherever it is. Thanks.